further down in Turkey, and three having Netanyahu over to Britain. This is a very, very reactionary government with a terrible uh, foreign policy agenda, and it is a particular disgrace that Theresa May should have invited Prime Minister Netanyahu over at this time, so soon after he's announced 3,000 more illegal settlements on Palestinian land. But it's not only the recent issues, it's also his record. This man is a war criminal. This man is someone who's been central to organizing murderous attacks on the Gaza Strip, on the Palestinian people that have been condemned around the world, that hundreds of thousands of people have marched and campaigned against. He should not be allowed into this country, let alone for a state visit. Now, Theresa May says she's uh, in there now and that she's going to be talking tough with him. Do we think that's likely? She said she'd give some hard talks to Donald Trump when she went over to Washington, and we know how that ended. Put the hand in hand, exactly. She went over and she traveled. She raised no serious issues, and she, she certainly raised no issues on questions of foreign policy. The reality is, this trip is about something very, very different. This trip.